Hello guys, welcome back to the Buchanan family. Today it is Tuesday and I have been from my food shop in Toledo and I spent, what did I spend today in Lidl? I spent 50 eight pounds but we did eat a pound wow that went strong it's very windy today guys very windy so i spent 58 pound a pound of it we already ate <laughs> i'll explain that later and then i had to go to morrison's for a couple of things i couldn't get in Lidl. um this is like the second week in a row they've been out of some stuff so anyway i spent like four pounds in morrison so i'll point out to you guys what i got from morrison's although you'll probably be able to tell because there's morrison's on it so Let's start with the haul. Here's all my goodies back here. And you might be like, what is that, Paula? I'll explain when we get around to it. So we are starting the haul over here instead of like over here this week because my cooker is out of action in the sense that I got a new cooker delivered today. So it still needs to be installed. Thomas is away to get the wires he needs to hardwire it because thomas is good at all that electrical stuff so he's actually i was gonna say he's off this week but he's not he's working nights this week so he's about today so he's away to get that wire for us so we can get our nice new cooker if you're interested we got this from ao.com and it's a new world one it was relatively well i mean it wasn't like cheap cheap you now you get like super cheap ovens and then you get you know it's kind of a middle of the range oven <laughs> middle of the range that wasn't a pun intended a mid-range um cooker price it's not wasn't super cheap there's ones that was like half the price and it wasn't super expensive because there was ones that were like two or three hundred pound more but anyway hopefully it's good for what we got looks nice kind of fits in good job <laughs> but anyway back to the haul so yeah so i couldn't use that because this has got like stuff on it but look it's um it's a ceramic hob so it's not got any gas things on it so let's continue on with the overview of what we bought over here is all our fruit and veg i got some chilies i'm going to be making my own salsa i wanted to make it today i wanted to have tacos today but i don't think thomas is going to be finished the cooker in time so anyway i got chilies to make salsa which i'll probably make later on some blackberries these were only one pound 15 this week which is a great price for blackberries they are usually more expensive than that so that was a really good price for them An iceberg lettuce some scottish strawberries the strawberries look like so so sad and we've had a lot of rain recently so i mean i don't know why they're so small but they are so they don't look sad sorry ah, rewind <laughs> they are, look tiny but they don't look sad they still look like they'll be nice so i got some strawberries <laughs> long story short story long i got two kiwis we still have a little bit of fruit left over so i only needed two some cucumbers a grapefruit and then a bag of organic bananas some red seedless grapes and then we've got some medium oranges the kids really like these just to munch on like i make them eat it because some kids i know they just suck the juice out of orange segments but i do make them eat it and then moving on to apples we've got a bag of galas and a bag of granny smiths bag of carrots these are my tomatoes tomatoes to make um salsa with so i'm gonna like cut them up quarter them and kind of take like the core like the seed bits out of it because i don't want them super like watery does that make any sense and then i'm going to use some garlic and some onions and my chilies and i'm going to roast them up or grill them probably or broil them as you americans would say it <laughs> um until they get kind of like a little bit charred like i'm going to rub some olive oil on them first then put them in the oven and broil them or whatever grill them <laughs> so they go like almost a little charred and literally just whack it in the food processor and that's you done so that's how you make salsa <laughs> I've got some soft prunes and then moving over here to some frozen fruit and veg. We've got green beans, garden peas and raspberries. These are for smoothies. So good, like two pound and you get a big bag of raspberries to make great smoothies with. And then moving over to the fridgy stuff, I've got two cartons of blue milk. Now last week, if you watched last week's haul, I literally bought like no meat at all. I think all I bought was a packet of hot dogs or frankfurters whatever they were frankfurts um and what was the other thing i bought last week some beef we had that as beef fajitas by the way it was super nice i was gonna have it as like a beef and broccoli but we had beef fajitas and it was delicious but 
anyway, moving on. Um, so I didn't buy a lot of meat last week. I kind of used like a lot of stuff we had in the freezer and stuff. So this week I didn't really have anything left. So I got three packets of turkey mints. These are only like £1.50 or 60 or something. And it's great. Like they're su such so low in fat. And I know red meat isn't that great for you. Yada, yada, yada. So, you know, turkey mints. And see, to be honest, seeing like chilli, tacos, meatballs my kids can't taste the difference i can't really taste the difference either if i'm honest so definitely give it a try if you're looking to reduce your red meat intake and then i did get a beef mince this isn't for us this is for the dog because i make her own dog food because i have you know i'm so laid back and chilled out and have nothing to do with my life just add on another thing to do yeah hey -ho. <laughs> but we also got some what is this this is cheese <laughs> white cheddar, just regular cheese, and then a pack of bacon. I don't have like a certain thing I want to do with this, but I just, the past couple of weeks I've just been buying it and we've just been eating it, so it's kind of handy to have. And then two packets of soft cheese, some chocolate mousses, some wafer thin smoked ham, and some fruity fromage fries. I, I was gonna say I got a two pack, no, this would be a six pack. And I got two of them, slightly different, and then, this is my new cooker, <laughs> in case you didn't see it a few minutes ago. But over here we've got two packets of six of the Scottish organic eggs. I got a loaf of wholemeal bread, some basil. I'm looking for ideas. Oh, I pushed on that cooker. Don't push on it. <laughs> I'm looking for ideas on how you guys store your herbs and your spices and stuff because mine, when I store them at the moment, is just like, <laughs> Like, it's just so messy. I don't know if I should buy, like, you know, like, tubs that I could put them in? Like, little, like, shallow tubs, like, only, like, this high. And then I could, like, bring them out so I could kind of, like, group them together. Or, I don't know. What do you guys do? I have seen someone put, like, a shelf. But I wouldn't have room. Most of the jars are all the same size. So I wouldn't have room, look, to stack them too high if I put a little shelf in and then you've got like the size of the shelf so I don't know or maybe I could just put a little shelf in so like the little shelf starts like here so then you could have it like that and then you could see what is behind it I don't know do you guys have any ideas if you do leave them in the comments give me some good ideas because I'm struggling and I always end up pulling everything out and I told the kids to pick a packet of biscuits and they picked these little fruit shortcakes easily please these are like the cheapest biscuits ever they're like 30 pence <laughs> like literally so cheap but that's what they picked and in Morrison's I got these Warburton's toasty pockets they were reduced in the bakery section from like 78 pence to 16 pence so I'm going to make them just now because as I said I did want to make tacos and salsa and stuff but I don't think that's going to happen so we can just eat these instead because I can do these in the toaster. Some red kidney beans for dog food, some onion granules, these are from Morrison's as well because they just don't sell onion granules or onion powder in Lidl. Then I got like an insane amount of tortillas but we will probably use like two of these for tacos and then one for just general eating. These are the mini ones and then a packet of full size ones and then from Morrison's as well I got some mixed salted nuts I want Argyle to try and eat some almonds he's having some um, kind of digestion issues and I've read like what foods are good so pretty much like all fruits and vegetables we're looking for things with fibre so that's what we've got the prunes for so we shall see if he eats them um, but I've tried like giving him orange juice and oranges and what else? He's not a big vegetable lover, so if you have any other tips as well, let me know. He's also not a big cereal lover. I know some cereals are quite high when it comes to fibre, but he's not a big lover. So I heard, I read, I heard that almonds are good for fibre, but I don't know if he would eat plain almonds. So they didn't sell just like a bag of salted almonds. This is salted, mixed salted nuts, but I don't know if nuts in general are full of fibre. Anyway. I bought that from Morrison's and then I got four cartons of Passata from Morrison's because I like me swallow <laughs> because they didn't have any in Lidl that's what I was talking about they have been out of Passata in Lidl for this is the second week in a row now so I didn't get any last week so I had to go and get some so I got four cartons oh my gosh stuff's like blown about in my garden 
<laughs> from that cooker. There's our old cooker. We need to go bye guys. Um, but yeah, because we're making quite a lot of passata dishes, tomato -y dishes this week because we've got chilli, um, meatballs, what's the other thing? There is another thing and I can't remember. Pizza, and then it's good to have an extra. And then we got a bottle of bleach, and there's me, hello me. <laughs> some food bags, some deodorant, mouthwash. This is like their more expensive one they do. They do a cheaper one. This one is the more expensive, as I said. This one's like 99 pence, and the other one's like 59 or 69 pence. And then a bottle of washing up liquid. So all in all, that was like, I don't know. 63 pounds or something I spent and what we spent our pound on was a bag of froggy crisps. If you haven't tried these from Lidl guys, these are great. They're like palm bears. They're gluten free if you're gluten free or your kids are gluten free. They're just ready salted flavour. 99 pence for six packets. Brilliant. So yeah, that is the haul guys. Let me know what did you think, not included, <laughs> of this week's haul. Good value for money or what do you think? Do you think you could shop for a family of five for less than that and buy you know similar things obviously we could go like meat free and not eat meat and it would be much cheaper thanks for joining me guys i hope you enjoyed the haul today's comment of the day is going to be on the screen here if you're like ooh, what's comment of the day someone who leaves a good comment in our last vlog and they get picked to be comment of the day in the next vlog so if you want to be comment of the day tomorrow leave a comment in the comment section, I was gonna say description box. I'm tired, I'm always tired. Um, but yeah, leave a comment and it could be you. Bye guys. I don't wanna love you if you don't love me back.